Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update October 14th, 2021. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode 450. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, Drama Raps for Yang Zi and Cheng Yi. An opinion piece on Shining Like You with Simon Gong. A Squid Game sign is seen on a UK motorway. And Cao Liying has an early birthday celebration. But first, here's what's recently premiered. Three dramas to report for today and yesterday. The first is The Pavilion, a modern drama starring Duan Yi Hong and Hao Lei. It premiered yesterday, October 13th. An estranged family reunites when the truth about the murder of one of their own several years ago surfaces. The drama is part of Aichi's Light On series, which usually means it's of a relatively high standard. The drama is slated for 12 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. Next, there's The Last Goodbye to Mama, a modern family drama starring Dong Jie and Ying Fang. It premiered on October 13th as well. It tells the story of hope and despair surrounding the lives of a mother and son from a small town in Supe. With a title like that, I'd suggest you keep a box of tissues close by if you plan on watching it. The drama is slated for 30 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. And lastly, there's Truth, a modern thriller starring Chen Xingxu and Gai Yuexi. It premiered earlier today. Chen Xingxu stars as an analyst who's appointed to form a team to deal with difficult zero testimony cases. The drama is slated for 32 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. Gotta love how all these dramas are made available with English subs so international audiences can appreciate them as well. And that's it for recently premiered dramas. Moving on, here's an update on Rebirth for You. There's been quite a bit of activity going on with Rebirth for You. In the past few days, they've released some new pictures, a new trailer, had a name change, and also confirmed their premiere date. Rebirth for You is an upcoming costume drama starring Ju Jin Yi and Joseph Cheng, and it's confirmed an October 18th premiere. It is adapted from a novel of the same name, and according to the novel, Zhu Jingyi's character gets a rebirth but retains all memories of her past life, where she was an empress. She and her new life husband, played by Joseph Cheng, help a young emperor stabilize the imperial court and create harmony throughout the kingdom. The drama's brand new trailer can be viewed on YouTube. You can find it by searching Rebirth for You. It also recently changed its Chinese name from Munanzhi to Jiananzhuan. I'm not sure exactly why they did that, but dramas change their names for a variety of reasons. Sometimes it's just a creative decision, other times it's for more practical reasons. Like with a League of Noblemen, they changed their Chinese name from Chang Kungan to Jun Zimeng. That was said to be a move to distance the drama from the novel it's based on, which supposedly has boys' love undertones. So the premiere date for Rebirth for You again is October 18th. More updates on it, including where to watch with English subs if available after it premieres. And moving on, I have some rap updates for you guys. We begin with Yang Zi and Cheng Yi, who earlier today wrapped filming on their highly anticipated Xianxia drama, Agarwood Like Crumbs. It kind of happened in stages as Yang Zi first announced that she was wrapped on the show and shared a bunch of stills. Here she is in character, looking lovely. And here she is looking like she could use a drink. A couple of hours later, Cheng Yi announced that he was wrapped and simply shared a picture of him taken from behind. And yet a couple of hours later, production officially announced their wrap and shared a behind the scenes type video on their Weibo. Next up, Esther Yu has wrapped filming on the set of A Romance of the Little Forest. She took to Weibo on October 12th to share the news and some pictures taken on set, including a bunch taken with Vin Zhang, her leading man in the drama. 
A Romance of the Little Forest follows a fashion blogger played by Esther Yu who travels to a remote town and bumps into an old flame played by Vin Zhang who's now a botany professor in town for research. Also in rap news is Simon Gong who's about to rap on Legend of Anle. That's according to this October 13th Cine article which says that Simon Gong has revealed that filming for the highly anticipated costume drama is about to end. Simon stars in Legend of Anle with Dilraba. Filming began about three months ago, and it's a collaboration between two highly sought-after drama actors who are having a terrific 2021. According to the article, Simon joked that he had been living as an ancient man in Hengtian Studios for almost a hundred days, and that he was very happy to be a modern man again. And that's it for rap updates, but staying on Simon Kung just a little longer, here's a Sohu opinion piece on his latest drama, Shining Like You. The article was published on October 13th and is entitled Shining Like You, Simon Kung's new drama filmed four years ago just premiered, wins in popularity, loses in drama plot. So I don't know how many of you have already checked it out. Shining Like You is a youth drama starring Wang Zixuan and Simon Gong, and it premiered on October 11th, just a few days ago, and is available on WeTV with English subs. Shining Like You was filmed four years ago, way before Simon broke out in Word of Honor. And if there's one thing I agree with the author of the article, it's that had the drama premiered back then, it wouldn't receive the type of attention it's receiving right now. The author goes on to say that the actors turn in good performances and that they are able to let their youthfulness shine in the drama. However, where the drama fails is in its plot, saying that it's unsatisfactory and over-exaggerated in certain parts. I haven't personally checked out Shining Like You, but those of you who have, what do you think of it so far? And moving on, I have some tidbits about the drama series that's still making headlines everywhere in the world, Squid Game. This first one is from the BBC, who published this October 13th article saying that police have reassured motorists over a road sign that looks like the one featured in Squid Game. This is the road sign found on the M4, a London South Wales motorway. And this is the sign found on a business card featured in the hit Netflix show. You can see why people would make the connection. Police promptly addressed the matter saying, nope, it will not lead you to the popular Netflix series Squid Game. They tweeted to say that it's just directions for diversion routes during roadworks. Squid Game has become Netflix's biggest ever series launch. Not long ago, Bridgerton was the top Netflix drama, having been viewed by 82 million households, but Squid Game has surged past that. In its first 28 days, Squid Game was viewed by 111 million households. Squid Game has its moments of ultra-violence, so it's not all roses as far as headlines go. According to this October 13th Cine article, the drama has been restricted in many European countries. Reportedly, this is because students have been imitating some of the violent actions in the drama. It also says that some schools have had to add violence prevention courses to their curriculum. The article doesn't mention what countries or what schools or go into any of that detail. It really is just a, a headline with a brief description, so make of it what you will. And that's it for drama stuff. Moving on, just a quick movie update before we get to the celebrity segment. The Wandering Earth 2 has started filming. That's according to this October 13th Cine article. This is the picture that's been floating social media. It was taken at the movie's booting ceremony and apparently Andy Lau, Wu Jing, and Zhang Feng Yi were present. The question on many netizens' minds is, Wu Jing's character was sacrificed in part 1, how is he gonna return? I'm sure they'll find a way, they always do. Part 1 came out in 2019 and was a huge success. Described as China's first full-scale interstellar spectacular, the sci-fi movie is the country's fourth highest grossing film of all time. Moving on, it's time for some celebrity news, and we begin with the princess agent herself, Zhao Liying. 
Here's an October 13th Sena article entitled, Zhao Liying shares birthday photos in advance, wears black short sleeve tee and exquisite makeup. Zhao Liying's birthday is in a couple of days time, October 16th, on which date she turns 34. On October 11th, she shared on her personal Weibo a bunch of pictures she took with a couple of old acquaintances, Kenny Kwan and Ellen Ting. Kenny Kwan, pictured here on the right, and Ellen Ting, pictured on the left, were her co-stars in two dramas, 2013's Mermaid Legend and 2014's The Wife's Secret. Looks like the trio got together to give her an early birthday celebration. And lastly, for celebrity news, something not as pleasant. Here is an October 14th Senna article entitled, Leo Luo's studio revealed that he was injured during filming. A doctor was arranged for emergency treatment. Leo Luo is currently filming Light Chaser Rescue with Janice Wu. This is the statement his studio released earlier today. It said that today, Leo was accidentally injured when filming a scene with a fellow actor. A professional doctor was arranged for emergency treatment. We will notify if there is further information. Don't worry, thank you for your concern. His fan club later gave an update on his condition, saying that he took some anesthetics for some pain. Other than that, all is fine. Scary stuff. But this is not the first time Leo Luo has injured himself on set. Back in August, I updated that he injured his leg and had to be pushed around in a wheelchair. That was also on the set of Light Chaser Rescue. The show is definitely taking its toll on him. Anyway, it's good to hear that he's doing fine and hopefully he can finish filming this show safely and without further incident. On that note, it's Thursday today, so it's time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the Top 10 Chinese Web and TV Dramas of the Week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. My prediction for this Sunday's Top Web Drama is Our Times, starring Leo Wu and Neo Ho. The drama is rated quite highly on Douban, at the moment it's at 8.2. It also just recently released its finale, so I'm backing it to be champion this week. My prediction for this Sunday's top TV drama is Medal of the Republic, starring Tong Da Wei and Sun Li. The patriotic drama is going strong. I'm backing it to be champion for a second week running. And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's top 10 champions. It also brings us to the end of this episode. If you want to check out the Legend of Fei t-shirt or other Chinese drama merchandise, there's a link to it in the description below. And this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!